Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot and today I'm going to be doing a read it like it's hot video. This is where we highlight a brand new release that's out this week and we tell you to read it like it's hot. So the book that I'm going to be recommending to you guys this week is Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake. This is a young adult fantasy novel. It's the first book in a series. If you are someone who normally doesn't read series books until all of them are out, completely understandable. But this is such a good book. The story takes place on this island called Finburn and every generation there are a set of triplets that are born and these triplets are three girls who are the heirs to be the queen. The island is sectioned off into three areas and each girl gets to reign over the different areas up until when they turn about 16 years old and then they basically have to fight to the death and only one of them is allowed to be queen over the entire island. There are different people who have different gifts and so each of these triplets have a different gift. There is Mirabella who is an elemental which basically means that she can control the elements like fire and wind and storms and thunder and lightning, things like that. There is Catherine who is a poisoner which means that she can ingest any poison and it won't have any effect on her whatsoever. And then finally there is Arsino who is a naturalist which means she has control over like earthly things like plants and flowers and animals. So in this first book you are introduced to these three women. You see how they are raised. They are separated from a very young age and so they don't like grow up together and then are forced to kill each other because obviously how can you kill people that you love? So they are separated at a very young age and they are raised by different people who sort of have similar abilities to them. In this world the poisoners have basically been reigning for the last few crownings and so there is a lot of pressure from the other two camps to basically have their queens rise up and win. Also there are rumors that Aerosol and Catherine are weaker than Mirabella. They haven't shown their gifts yet it seems and so there is a very good chance that they won't even have the opportunity to become queen. So you are just following these sisters in the upcoming year to their 16th birthday as they are going to start Start trying to kill each other. I will say right off the bat that this isn't a plot heavy story. A lot of this feels like set up for things that are happening in the future but there are some really interesting turns that this plot takes in the story but the thing that really captured my attention were these three sisters. They're all written in such a unique way. They all have very different motivations. You see how the people surrounding them and their own gifts and abilities and the fact that they're isolated from each other has formed their motivations and formed their opinions on each other and this whole process. This is a dark book. I don't think it's as dark as some um, adult fantasy books that I've read before but it's definitely dark for young adult in my opinion. Kendare Blake wrote Anna Dressed in Blood and Girl of Nightmares which was this duology about ghosts that Personally I found to be kind of on the scary side. I mean I'm also kind of a big baby so it's not that hard to scare me, I will admit that. But I found it to be a relatively scary book so I shouldn't have been that surprised by the darkness in this book but I was. It's not like gruesome but just some of the things that happened in this book I found to be a little bit shocking. Some of the plot turns like I said are kind of surprising. There are certain things that happen that I never would have predicted happening. I read this one relatively quickly for me. I read it over the course of a weekend basically and I didn't want to put this book down. There were points where I was trying to like sneak in pages in between tasks which is always a sign of a really great book in my opinion. So if you are someone who likes fantasy I feel like this is worth picking up but I feel like even if you don't like fantasy. I personally don't read a lot of fantasy. I do read some obviously but I feel like that even if you're someone who doesn't necessarily like fantasy a lot this might actually really appeal to you because there isn't a lot of emphasis on the magic and there isn't a lot of emphasis on world building at this point. I mean there's some but there isn't a lot so if that's something that you like you might be a little bit irritated with this book but if you're someone who feels like you get bogged down by world building then I feel like this is definitely worth picking up. I'm so intrigued to see where this series is gonna go. It ends in a way that's fulfilling but also not. You can definitely tell that it's leading up to more and I'm so excited to see the next book in the series because this book was so good. So yeah that is Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake. If you've read this book definitely leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought of it or if you've read Kendare Blake's other books definitely leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of those. I know she's written some other ones besides the Anna Dressed in Blood series but that's the only one that I've read and I really enjoyed those as well. So yeah that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!